Hello, hello, welcome to today's video guys. So as you can see today, we're gonna to be talking about my favorite thing in the entire world, food. But specifically food that is made in heaven itself, which is Trader Joe's. Everything about that store is amazing. The food, the people that work there, the entire experience, like you're never stressed out walking around Trader Joe's. I've never even seen anyone like frown in Trader Joe's and the workers are so friendly and so kind and it feels like they genuinely enjoy working there and being there so, it's just always a 10 out of 10 experience. I've had days where I was sad and I was like, you know what? I'm just gonna, I'm gonna hop on over to my neighborhood Trader Joe's. I should also add that this video is not sponsored by Trader Joe's by any means, although that would be amazing. That would probably be the peak of my career. But anyway, so today I want to talk about my top picks from Trader Joe's. So like my favorite things that I've been able to try out, things that I recommend you guys try. We kind of have like a combination of everything. There's salty food, there's sweet food. I'm going to start off with the number one thing from Trader Joe's, the one thing that they absolutely kill at and I have not been able to find anywhere else is the cauliflower, okay, hold on, <laughs> the cauliflower gnocchi. Still not fully sure if that's how you actually pronounce it, but we're gonna go with gnocchi. I have seriously been eating them. I, I've literally had them every single day, sometimes twice a day over the last week and a half. If you guys watched my three healthy lunch idea videos, which if you haven't, I will link that in the description bar for you. Um, I showed you guys how to make like a gnocchi bowl. And basically the way that I cook them is in the air fryer. They taste so good. It makes them like soft on the inside, crispy on the outside. I just add a little bit of avocado oil and some sea salt. I swear that's the best way to cook them. But you can also pan fry them. You can just throw them in the microwave if you're like in a rush. The ingredients in here are mind-blowing to me like they're so short they're so pronounceable so we have cauliflower cassava flour potato starch extra virgin olive oil and sea salt and for the entire bag it's 330 calories 8 grams of fat 53 grams of carbs 15 grams of fiber which is amazing and 5 grams of protein next i'm going to talk about trader joe's rice I have the brown rice here and I also have the white rice. These are both microwavable and I know that it's super easy to make rice, but there is just something about Trader Joe's rice. You just throw this back into the microwave for three minutes and you are good to go. This is perfect if you're running late, if you're trying to pack a lunch for work or something like that, just because it's already pre-packaged and again, I don't know what they do to it, but it tastes great. So next I'm gonna talk about their barbecue cut fresh Atlantic salmon. I do have to point out the fact that it is farm raised and they do offer wild caught sockeye salmon, which is nutritionally more beneficial for you. Um, but if I'm being completely and totally honest, this salmon compared to the sockeye salmon, it just, it doesn't taste the same. So I try and just kind of switch it up every once in a while because I know the other one's better for you. You throw this into the air fryer for 12 minutes on 390 degrees and then add some sea salt and you don't need anything else. It just like melts in your mouth. The salmon also costs less than the sockeye salmon. So it is a little bit more cost effective. But as you can see, this is me justifying it. Um, but honestly, truly, I just love the taste of that salmon. Next, we have the eggplant hummus. I think it goes with everything and anything. You can put it on bread, you can put it into a salad, you can make a wrap with it, you can have it with rice and chicken, make like a Mediterranean bowl. It's just so versatile, it tastes so good, and it's good for you. The ingredients in here are chickpeas, eggplant, sesame tahini, lemon juice, garlic, water, sea salt, and pomegranate juice. It's 35 calories for two tablespoons, and it has two fat, four carb and two grams of fiber and two grams of protein. This is the last salty item that I'm gonna talk about, but if you guys like chips, you gotta try these plantain chips from Trader Joe's. First time I saw them, I was like, okay, wait, this kind of looks like banana. Banana with salt on it, it sounds kind of weird, but just take my word for it, this is so good. I've even had the plantain chips with the hummus and it, in my opinion, tastes even better than like pita chips. Okay, moving on to our sweet stuff. So I'm sure that you guys have definitely seen this on my channel before, and if not, you've seen it on other people's channels. It has other things in here besides for just oats. It has quinoa, flax seeds, chia seeds, and a few other things, and I think that's why it makes the consistency so good. Um, but it's very like light and fluffy almost. I just cook it with water and then add a little bit of almond milk at the end. And also it is gluten-free. A lot of times oats that have other things in them aren't gluten-free, but these are. And I've been having them every single night. I actually like to have my oats as dessert because I add like chocolate and peanut butter and cacao powder and stevia and it kind of just tastes like brownie batter. Definitely the best oatmeal from Trader Joe's, hands down. Next, we have this vegan banana bread. Now I have to say, this is a new find for me. This is the first time I've tried it. I've always been like a cookie and brownie person, but 
I don't know, banana bread has just been sounding so good. And then I saw this one at Trader Joe's and I realized that it was vegan so I can actually have it. It does have wheat in here, so it has gluten, but I've been introducing small amounts of gluten slowly back into my life. And for the most part, I've been okay. Definitely, definitely, if you guys like banana bread, try this one out. It's so good. It has little walnut pieces inside and they killed it. All right, this one's for all my coconut lovers. Simple, just roasted coconut chips. This makes the perfect movie snack. The ingredients in here are coconut, salt, sugar, coconut milk, and coconut juice. So if you don't like coconut, then obviously <laughs> this isn't for you. But they say it's great, and I think that the Trader Joe's brand, they've like nailed the sweetness for this because I've tried other chips. Sometimes they're just overly sweet, like they added too much sugar. And then the last two things that I want to show you guys are just these little date and nut bites. <laughs> it's made with chia seeds, coconut, and sunflower seeds. And this one is cashew apricot. So two different flavors, um, also made with coconut and citrus. They are individually packaged, so they're perfect if you want to bring them on the go, if you just want to grab like like two or three and the serving size is two bites um, it's seven fat 13 carb and three grams of protein if I have like a big salty meal having one of these is like perfect just to finish it off that is everything that I would recommend you get from Trader Joe's all their stuff is great but these are just like my top picks as always thank you guys so much for watching if you want me to do more videos like this from Whole Foods or Ralph's or whatever grocery store you guys have available to you I can definitely make it happen again thanks for being here I love you guys to all my heart and I'll see you in the next one Thank you.